Hey guys, it's Mo, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my embarrassing high school stories. So I saw Kelly Sweet do this, and I was thinking about doing this as well, and I wanted to take a different approach to back to school videos, you know, because some of y'all, it's August, and some of you guys are already going back to school. I go back in September. We can get through this, though, together, right? So I'm going to share with you guys some of my funny embarrassing cringy high school moments video. I'm gonna share with you guys three of the pretty embarrassing ones. I have other ones that are still pretty embarrassing for me and let's just get on with the video. <laughs> Before I start, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot and give this video a big thumbs up because it really does help me out and it makes me happy and back to school makes me sad so make me happy by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel and commenting because I like to talk to you guys. Okay, so this first embarrassing moment happened on the very first day of high school. The very first day of freshman year. <laughs> so what happened was, okay, at my school we do like orientation, so the very first day for freshmen, what happens is the freshmen, they go to school, it's just the freshmen and their older sibling, not like blood related sibling, but like someone that's, you know, they contact, like an upperclassman basically. I was like, first day of high school, fresh start, new people, I was excited, like I looked so lively in all my freshman year photos, I was ready for high school, I wasn't scared, I had no fear, I was a fearless little freshman. I guess to my school to make like a good impression on us, they served us breakfast the first day, it was like orange juice, water, whatever, and they had donuts. So I had a donut, right, a regular vanilla donut, and um, I'm a messy eater. I'm a very, very messy eater, so um, I got a bunch of napkins trying to be neat and everything, and I don't know what happened, I don't know how, I still don't know how this happened to this very day. Long story short, I got frosting on my face, like I got, I had a vanilla donut, like a frost, white frosted vanilla donut, and I had that white frosting, that white vanilla frosting on this dark chocolate skin, okay? and. It stood out, like, a lot. And keep in mind, me trying to break bad habits, I didn't ask anyone if I had anything on my face, right? So I go about the day, you know, like a normal person. Well, not really, because I had a huge thing of frosting on my face. And freshman year, again, first day of school, you do all those icebreakers to get to know people. And we did that in homeroom, so I was walking around homeroom with frosting on my face. But hopefully no one remembers that. So we're gonna fast forward to the bus ride. So that morning, so first day of high school, I took the bus to and so I'm sitting on the bus, looking at everyone that's getting on and off the bus, and I see this guy. Oh my goodness. This guy walks onto the bus and my jaw literally drops. I was like, Oh my god! No, I was this guy was so cute. Oh my goodness. I was like, yes, I was so happy, I was like, yes, high school's gonna be lit, I hope all the other guys look like this guy, cause he was so cute, like, I saw him, my jaw dropped, there was like a halo over his head, and the angels coming down from heaven, and I was like, oh my goodness, this guy's amazing, he, he's so cute, and I was sitting there listening to music, and I turn around, to get something from my backpack or something, probably my house keys, and I and I see I see out the little corner of my eye, I see this this cutie th that fell from heaven looking at me, and I was like, oh my gosh, he's looking at me. Maybe he thinks I'm pretty. Maybe he thinks I'm cute. Maybe he thinks I have a great personality. Like I was so happy that this guy was staring at me, and that that's what was going through my mind during the day. Keep in mind, I didn't know that, again, I was walking around with a donut on my face. So, um, walking home from the bus stop, I have this huge smile on my face because I'm like, high school's gonna be so great. I will, maybe I'll break my single streak because, you know, I was single since uh, I was born. So. And my mom was in the bathroom washing clothes, so I just walk in and wash my hands. And my mom's like, what's that on your face? And my mom's like scraping it off my face. It's it's not only like creamy frosting, no, it, this is like a dry, crusty frosting. Okay, so so my mom's like trying to clean it off my face. And, and like... And then I just go about washing my hands, and then I go back to my room. But as I'm walking to my room, I'm like, wait, this was on my face the whole time. 
and then it sunk in. No, 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 this guy was not staring at me because he thinks that I'm pretty. He was not staring at me because he thinks I'm cute. He was definitely not staring at me because he thinks I have a great personality. He was looking at the frosting on my face, trying to figure out, what is that? Is that cake frosting? Is that crack? Is that something else that I can't say on my channel because I'm trying to keep things PG? I made a mistake. I really did myself dirty. I should have brought a mirror. I should have not been too shy to ask someone if there's something on my face. Again, I don't know. That was one of that was really embarrassing for me. Okay, so the next embarrassing moment that I had from high school again happened on the first day of school. This was um pretty recent. It was in English class, and you know how on the first day of school you guys do again icebreakers to get to know your classmates, know everyone's names. I don't understand why we were doing this because we were upperclassmen, so and people usually don't transfer in and out of my school that much, so I don't understand why we were doing this in the first place. But we were doing it, you know, to pass time. So. Um, what we did in English class was we went around the room, so you'd say your name and something that you like that starts with the same letter as your first name. We go around the room and we get to meet, and I'm like, oh, my name is Mo and I like music. Basic answer, because I'm a basic person. So, um, so I say this and the teacher looks at me. She's looking at me, nodding her head, and she's like, Mo, where are you from? And see, that's a simple question that most people would easily be able to answer. But I overthink everything, and I overthought what she meant by this question. So I was sitting here like... What does she mean? Where am I from? Should I go into detail about my background and where my parents are from? Wait, no! She must think I'm an exchange student! That this teacher thought that I was an exchange student. So you want to know what I said? I said I'm from here. As in America. I said that I was <laughs> I said that I was from here, America. And then the whole class starts laughing at me. And then the teacher, I look at the teacher and she has this straight face. And she's still staring at me. She's like, I know you're from here. Yeah, and she literally just kept staring at me and I was and then at that moment the the gears start going and everything clicked. And I realized that she meant what town I'm from. And so I was like, oh, I'm from this town. And then she's like, oh, wow, me too. So you're, so you're this, so you're from this town. Hmm, represent. Yeah, me being the awkward person I am, I was like, <laughs> yeah. And then we went on playing the game. But I had every right to be confused, you guys, because we were playing this game for like the whole period and she didn't ask anybody else where they were from but she asks me and I was the only black kid in the room so I was like okay maybe she wants to know like where my family's from or maybe she thinks I'm an exchange student I don't know I, I was really confused maybe if she asked other people what town they were from I would have like catched on earlier and not said here as in America but like I didn't so Okay, so last embarrassing moment didn't really happen at school, but it did happen like at a school-related event. So this happened last year, and I was at Sweet 16. For for those who haven't ever been to a Sweet 16 before, like what you wear is you just wear like a simple dress um, or a skirt or whatever. You dress nice, but not too nice because you don't want to outshine the birthday girl. So I was like spending so much time at the mall trying to find a dress to wear, trying to find something nice to wear because I, I have a really hard time finding clothes. One, because my body is not in proportion and you can't really tell because all you see is my shoulders and my head. I have a hard time finding clothes that I like because I'm so picky and like I have a certain style in my head that I want to dress like but I can't afford it and nor do I think I'll look good in it and it's just like shopping for clothes is is the struggle for me, okay? So I bought this peplum top from H&M, $12, pretty affordable and I and I try it, I go home, I try it on with the pencil skirt and I'm like, eh, it doesn't really look nice, it's not my style. So what so my plan was to tuck in the price tag in my shirt and wear the top to the party and if I like it, if I get a lot of compliments on it, if I feel good in it, then I'll keep it. If I don't, the price tag is still there and I can return it. That was my logic and that was a bad idea. <laughs> Okay, at Sweet Sixteens, at parties, anywhere where there's music, I like to dance. Like, I'm not one of those people that does, like, awkward dancing, like, step, 
clap, step, clap, no, like I am like doing some new dance moves, I'm inventing new dance moves on the dance floor, I'm doing like some choreography, like high school musical type stuff when I'm dancing. I, I'm not afraid to dance at parties. So, so like I was dancing crazy and um, yeah, fast forward to another part, to later in the party. My friend, she comes up to me and she's like, uh, your price tag is showing. And she starts tucking it back into my top. And then I turn around, I'm like, oh man, thanks girl. And then I turn around and I see these two guys. They were standing there staring at me and laughing at me. And I was like, oh my goodness. They're pointing, they're laughing, they're like talking amongst each other, like whispering. And well, actually, no, they weren't whispering. They were talking like their normal indoor voices. But still, they were, they were talking about me and talking about my price tag. And I was like, I don't want people to know me as that type of person that wears outfits and then returns them. Okay, so what I did to try to make this situation right was I... My friend took the price tag back in my shirt and I was like, okay, I can't do this. So then I took the price tag and I ripped it off and threw it on the floor to make it look like I left it there on accident. So we all know that that was not an accident. I left that price tag on on purpose. I was going to return it to the store the next day if I didn't like it. So here I am filling up my goodie bag, doing my thing, and I wait for the guys to leave. And what I do is I pick up that price tag from the ground and put it back in my purse because I'm like, you know what, I actually might return this black. I may not. You guys, it really does get worse. So, um, I was telling one of my friends about the incident with the price tag at the Speed 16, and, um, you know, be careful who you tell your embarrassing moments to, because she ended up posting it on Snapchat, and, um, yeah, it, it just didn't end well. <laughs> so, those are all my embarrassing moments. I guess you can kind of say that those were my fault, I feel like. So, if you guys really like this embarrassing moments video, embarrassing high school moments video then please tell me in the comment section below and give it a big thumbs up because if this video does pretty well then I definitely will do more. I have a ton of embarrassing moments in my little book of secrets. Again, this is just YouTube ideas. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Check out my other videos. I actually filmed a video for this hair tutorial, this Dutch braid tutorial. So if you want to know how to do that, the, I'll post the link in the description box and um, maybe insert an annotation. So that's all I have to say, and, and share with me your most embarrassing moment in the comment section below. So that's all I have to say, uh, keep clicking back to my channel, and thanks for watching. When I had you to myself, I didn't want you around, those pretty faces always made you stand out in a crowd.